Number three, solve the system using substitution. We're given the equations negative 4x plus y equals 6 and negative 10x minus 2y equals 42. I'm going to take the first equation and rearrange it. So I'm going to take negative 4x plus y equals 6, and I'm going to subtract, or add, excuse me, 4x to both sides of the equation. Okay, so this goes to 0, and this turns into y is equal to 6 plus 4x. Now I like my x term first. So using the commutative property, I can switch that around. So y equals 4x plus 6. Okay. So now I'm going to take my second equation, negative 10x. Minus 2y equals 42. And I'm going to take what y is equal to in terms of x, 4x plus 6, and I'm going to basically substitute that in for the y in the second equation. So now I have negative 10x minus 2 times parentheses 4x plus 6. Equals 42. Okay. So now I'm going to distribute this negative 2 right here. This negative 2. I'm going to distribute that over both the 4x and the positive 6. So I have negative 10x negative 2 times 4x plus negative 2 times 6 equals 42. This is negative 10x minus 8x minus 12 equals 42. Here I'm going to combine my like terms. So I have negative 18x minus 12 equals 42. Let's try that again. That looks rather messy. So negative 18x minus 12 equals 42. Add 12 to both sides of the equation. And I wind up getting negative 18x equals 54. Okay. Finally, uh, take and divide both sides of the equation by negative 18. We end up getting x equals negative 3. Okay. So now that I have x equal to negative 3, all I need to do is replace the x up here now with negative 3 to find y. So y is equal to 4 times negative 3 plus 6, which is equal to negative 12 plus 6 
which is equal to negative 6. So the ordered pair then is actually negative 3, negative 6. Done.